Now, sometimes when we are working with data, we might run into certain errors. So that is what we will talk about now. We will learn about error handling using two functions which are specifically used for error handling. One is if error, the other is if NA, if data is not available kind of a thing. Okay, you can think of NA as not available. All right. So there are certain, uh, see when we are working with data, sometimes we might come across certain scenarios where we would have entered an incorrect condition or where we have not provided sufficient data or we have not handled a particular scenario. In such cases, Tableau could throw certain errors at us. Sorry, Excel could throw certain errors at us. What are those uh, common error types that we come across are these. NA, something that's not available, value incorrect, reference is wrong, num error, name error, null error, and division by zero error. Okay, so how to handle these errors? Here I will do one simple thing. There are certain numbers and I would like to divide them by the values that are given here. So 83 divided by 4, 88 divided by 2. Some places there is zero that has been given. And we know that we cannot divide a number by zero. So let's see what, uh, what Excel will do. Equal to, I need to take this number and divide it by. So for division, you give the division symbol slash four, means the value that is there in D4. Okay, now once I apply this and click on the enter key, this is 20.75. Now I'll simply copy that formula down. Wherever we had valid data, division happened because this is what? Relative referencing, right? So when we copy down the formula, even the source cells are, are moved down. Relatively, they will move down. Okay. Here, 23 divided by 0 is throwing an error. 98 divided by 0 is throwing an error. 50 divided by 0, obviously, is not possible. Therefore, it threw an error. How do we do error handling? This is valid. It is not something wrong, it is valid. We should get this error. Then only we will understand that we are trying to divide a number by zero, which is not a correct thing to do. But rather than showing div by zero, let's replace it with some default value. Let's just put zero instead. Okay, so what to do? The formula that I have written here, what is the formula C4 divided by D4? I will simply wrap this in the if error function. If error, and this is the value. Okay, this is what we are doing. But if error occurs, what to do? Try to understand the syntax over here. Um, so one moment. Try to understand the syntax over here. So if error, right? If error is the function, this is the value that it will return when there is no error. The first argument is no error argument. Means if there is no error in that formula that we have written, then it will return the first argument. It will return the first argument if there is no error. And what if there is error? That will become the second argument. Second argument is upon encountering an error. If we come across an error, then what are we supposed to do? That becomes the second argument. Okay, first argument is if there is no error. And second argument is if at all an error comes up, then what to do? So this is the value we are checking and if at all an error comes value if error in case of error i will give zero okay i hope you all understood the syntax now let me apply it and i will copy it down by doing a double click here you see zeros we can do other things also instead of zero let's say you simply want to leave it blank so you can just put two quotation marks don't enter anything between the quotation marks it will leave it as blank let me copy it down and show you you see blank. 
or let's say i want to write that this is not correct when you uh, divide something by zero it is not correct so i would like to say no result or uh, check the denominator okay no result check the denominator so i want to very clearly mention what is going wrong so let me just copy it down you getting it right i mean even uh, we can even copy it up not just down we can even copy it up so that's it i hope you'll understood if error you can handle it whichever way you feel is more uh, appropriate to convey uh, the information to the client or give them information about the error or simply just inform them that okay there is an error here all right this is if error condition uh, the div by zero 